spinner, do you love picking up new combos like I do? If your answer is a firm, clear yes, then I hope you have already subscribed to my channel. Picking up new tricks, links and combos boosts fine motor skills and builds new brain connections. And with all the today's TikTok stuff, keeping the brain working so it doesn't shrink to the size of a goldfish is a great way to prevent the dementia. So this spring I shared four fine mini combos to spice up your evenings while you listen to music or audiobooks or even watching TikToks. I'm not sure if it is possible to combine TikTok with a pen spinning, but only four, you might ask. Isn't it a bit little for the whole season? And you'd be absolutely right. And I have no excuse. But either way, four mini combos are still more than no mini combos. Plus, we need to not only learn them, but also practice and fit them in our freestyles. That's exactly why I'm making this video to remind both you and myself of the elements we studied in spring, so we together could spend the next few evenings practicing them and linking them with each other or with other moves. So today let's revisit those mini combos from spring, refresh our memory. Or if you haven't learned them, you can check out the dedicated videos and finally get the hang of them. Actually, uh, this video might be enough for some of you too. All we need for this is a bit of desire, a bit of patience and the internet with YouTube to watch my videos. And of course a penament, which you can make using my tutorial. The only catch is you won't get the top-notch tool this way. And advancing will be a bit challenging and uh, tough. To get a top-notch tool, you have to order it through the link penstock.net. That way you will find a shop with the biggest selection of everything a pen spinner could need, from a beginner to a pro. So kicking off spring we had some awesome moves from Noel. I'm not sure if he is still making pen spinning videos. I love his stuff, but unfortunately he filmed everything on a potato. I would love to see his videos in full HD. At least just in HD. At least in 480p. We begin with a Sonic Clip 3-4 to Neo Sonic over middle finger to slot T1 between the index finger and thumb. Here, with a general twist of the hand, do a charge T1 and pass the mod on the ring finger under pinky. The tricky part here is to keep the pen moving so it spins between ring finger and pinky in the right direction, and then pass it to slot 2-3. Now we push mod for a middle finger and after a full spin, stop it using the index finger. Then comes the cherry on top of this mini combo with an index back. We move the mod on top of the hand and let it spin into a slot under pinky. Next, turn the hand again and do a new Sonic. At first I almost forgot how to do this mini combo, I hardly practiced it, just too many uncomfortable elements. Is it the right approach? No, it's not. To turn uncomfortable elements into smooth moves, you have to practice them frequently and then you can incorporate these moves into your freestyles. Once it gets into your regular library, that's when you can truly master it. Alright, let's jump into the second combo. I saw it in a collaboration video by the Vietnamese pen spinner Minh. A huge and warm shout out to all my friends from Vietnam. Well done, guys. I love that there is a strong pen spinning community in your country. As for this mini combo, I mess it up even more than Noel. What did you think? I can do all the combos from my videos flawlessly every single time. Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like, you know, like if I, I don't know. Like, never know. You know, like you only see the tip of the iceberg. My best shots. To even get it right once, it takes me about 20 minutes of fails. And that's just the way it is. But this combo is unusual and I like it because it looks like a pendulum swing. Each trick goes in the opposite direction. And the final part, it can make you sweat for hours. Is it worth it? You bet it is. So we do Neo Sonic and after a full rotation over index finger, the pen ends up on the middle finger under ring. Next we shift the mod's direction with a pass 2-3-2-3-4 two, three, two, three, and in the slot between the ring finger and pinky do a ring around, again changing the mod's direction. Stop the pen's spin with the index finger, then with a hand twist 
perform an unusual Devil's Shadow. Once again, we reverse the mod's direction. The combo is short, not complex, but quite challenging. Now the third combo isn't that difficult, nor is it as unusual or interesting. Uh, this is your typical TikTok pen spinning where people mostly mostly just show freestyles instead of developing creative and complex elements. Because you can't focus on everything everywhere at once. You either focus on mastering your skills and spend days getting ready to shoot it, about 10 to 15 seconds of greatness for a collaboration video, or you have to speed out something simple but every day. As a result, the combo consists of super mega extra generic links, but if you take time to perfect it, you can make it look really smooth and neat. So we start with a mirrored power pass on the middle finger. And if this trick is new to you, you can safely replace it with a middle Neo Sonic. As soon as the mod rolls over the middle finger, give it a slight push for a pass to slot 2-3, keeping most of its weight on the palm side. And when the pen lands between the index and the middle fingers, we send it into an index back. Another full spin around the middle finger and the mod lands on the middle finger under the ring finger. Try to keep it closer to the grip, because next we pass it to the slot between the thumb and middle finger with a little help of a hand twist. Now we do a viper to thumb flap and we finish this mini combo with a generic FLTA reverse and feel completely satisfied that at least one of today's combo we can do without sweat and tears. I like how Bizarus does it. Mine looks slightly different, and yours will too. How the combo looks depends on a lot of things. The pen mod you use, your experience, and even the tricks you like doing the most. That's one of the beauties of pen spinning. Diversity. Diversity matters. I don't think that's... We did it. Well, let's move on to the next, final spring mini combo. The one that I found in this Japanese pen spinning collaboration video. I just love this video, and I believe I posted the link to it in the community tab on my channel. But if I did forget, you can watch the whole thing through the link I will put in the description anyway. It's a gold mine of good, useful elements. And that single video is enough material for dissecting combos all year long. And from all that awesomeness, I chose the least exciting moment, so we could start with something easier. Because look at what these bastards are pulling off. It is disgusting. I want to do that too. Right, and let's get to our mini combo. To start off, we'll use the smooth Link Sonic 2-3 to 1-2, pass to 2-3 and back to 1-2. Yeah, a bunch of numbers only pen spinners understand. And from here, it is where the real magic starts. Do a gripped charge to middle back after a full rotation around the middle finger. I do a shadow reverse from slot 1-2 and smoothly move into an extended thumb around reverse. Once the pen flips over the thumb, we place it between the middle and ring fingers with the most of mods weight on the palm side. Twisted Sonic 2-3 to 1-2, bending the index finger so the pen mod can roll over it into the slot between index and the thumb. From here, proceed with the tipped Sonic, and when the pen lands in slot 1-2, make a link, Twisted Sonic reverse to Devil's Sonic. Again, doing this combo isn't too hard until you run into the link shadow reverse to extended thumb round reverse, approximately somewhere at the beginning of the combo. After that, it becomes a living hell. I still can't seem to polish it, get it flow smoothly. I might get it right from start to finish, once or twice out of... 30 attempts. Now let me know in the comment below if you can nail any of spring combos. Which one feels simplest and which one looks coolest. May the style be with you. Bye.